The Minister of Communication told Parliament on Friday that the Common Monitoring Platform had uncovered potential under declaration of taxes amounting to 470 million Ghana cities by the mobile network operators from 2015 to the first quarter of 2021. Under declarations detected, the introduction of the Common Platform has uncovered that prior to the introduction, to its introduction, 470 million CDs in taxes was lost from potential under declarations between 2015 to the first quarter of 2017. An estimated 300 million in taxes was saved between the first quarter of 2017 to date as a result of the announcement and actual implementation of the Common Platform from March 8, 2017 to date. There would have been a potential loss of a total of 1.5 billion CDs through to the end of the Common Platform contract had the Common Platform not been implemented. The Member of Parliament for Ningo Pram Pram, Sam George, asked the government to provide clarity on the revelation that millions in under-declared taxes were saved in the telecommunications sector since the implementation of the Common Platform. The original question was to find out how much incremental revenue has been made. Um, from the responses given, I am yet to see incremental revenue. Previously, before the inception of the Common Platform, and since the inception of the Common Platform, month-on-month -month breakdown or yearly breakdown, how much incremental revenue has been received. The minister, in response to a question from the Ningo Pram Pram MP, said 1.5 billion Ghana cities would have been lost from the state if the common monitoring platform had not been operationalized over the five-year period of operation. But the chief executive officer of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kenneth Ashibe, refuted the claims. We want to once again state that these claims, though it will be the potential and estimated, have not been brought to the attention of our members at all. And it's also contrary to the ongoing working relationship between ourselves, the Ministry of Communication, the NCA, and GRA, and their technical partners, Kelmi GVG, regarding the common platform. Nothing, that it does not support these allegations that have been made at all. And we need to stress that as an industry, we have not under-declared any taxes. All the audits and things that have been done, you know, have not shown that. And our relationship with the, the owners of the common platform and their technical people does not support this accession at all. According to Ashibe, the chamber will be seeking audience with parliament through the Select Committee on Communications to address the allegations. We would be seeking audience with a select committee of parliament so that we can also go and state our case and possibly um, get assistance of parliament to be able to get whatever rec reports that actual reports of that um, if really exists will be brought to our attention so that our members would be able to explain with evidence of actual payments that have been made so that we'll be able to address this. So in the coming days, we definitely would be going to Parliament.